one of the joys of being back in the states for an undetermined amount of time is uh, getting back to work so i work construction and somebody asked me to build a cool pergola so i'm gonna start on that tomorrow so that'll be fun and uh, i'm kind of looking forward to it i haven't uh, really done too much in construction since i left we did a little bit of construction work there in brazil but um, they use a lot of bricks and mortar there and it's completely different than what I'm used to so it'll be kind of fun just to get back to it and uh, do some woodworking that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow and I really enjoy that so I'm looking forward to it and uh, with this whole coronavirus thing I really do feel like it's something important and something that we should all be conscious of um, but you know I'm really glad that uh, Governments are taking the precautions necessary and uh, just I don't know really seeing how everybody's coming together I think that's really cool, but definitely something to take seriously and uh, good health is something to be thankful for that's for sure and It's interesting. My mom just said that uh, the middle of May is when it's expected to peak here in Idaho so just the fact that you know the Lord has blessed me with something that I can do some work uh, during this time is really cool I really feel thankful for that because uh, there's a lot of people getting laid off and stuff and that's really unfortunate for a lot of people but uh, I think everything's gonna work out and equal out eventually um, but you know I really feel a lot for those people and uh, I'm really thankful that God has blessed me with something to do and it's outside of the city so I'll be a little bit safer in that aspect You know, talking about the coronavirus and all this stuff, I just, I can't express how thankful I am for all you donors, all the people who donated to the Brazil mission. You guys are really the ones that made it possible for us to go down there and be full-time missionaries. You know, as it says in 1 Corinthians 3, 6 through 8, it talks about how, you know, some planted the seed, some watered the seed, but ultimately it was God who made the seed grow. Um, you guys have such an important part in missions and thank you so much for your obedience to God, um, you know, because your calling to donate is just as sacrificial as and big as my calling to missions and you guys are the ones that uh, really made it possible for us because we could be full-time missionaries there and we didn't have to worry about money um, because you guys were faithful uh, to God and, and growing the kingdom and so you know, you guys really have uh, stored up treasure for yourselves in heaven, and I'm so grateful for that. And it's not something to be unnoticed because, you know, you guys, the, the disciples we had in Brazil might not know who you are, but they sure do know the God that you serve because they saw it uh, through, through what God did in their lives. And you guys made that possible. So I thank you so much for that. And, you know, God is so good and he'll, he'll continue to bless you guys. You know, the work doesn't stop here. Um, we have a lot more work to do, but you know what? It's all for the kingdom of God and it's for his glory. And it's all for him because of him. So uh, let's just continue to serve him and be grateful for every single day. So I hope you guys just have a great day and great night, great afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching this video. And live, love, and lead like Christ.